Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another mental health check. Your struggle is part of your story. Celebrate every victory. We are on our finale of scene already. Can you guys believe that? It seems like just yesterday that we just started this and yet we are on our finale already today spectacular. I I have enjoyed this immensely and I hope you guys have too. This whole teaching has really really made a positive on myself because there's some things like that I have been talking to you guys and that I've been studying in this that I didn't even realize. Like for instance about taking why why we talk to people why we allow uh others to help validate us and that type of thing that connection what happens there taking the emotional um whatever it is that we're dealing with and putting it to the logical side so from the right side to the left side and all of those things that happen with us and allowing us to have an emotional exhale. Uh, the way that that is spoken about in these teachings so far has been spectacular. So this finale teaching today is going to be amazing. Again, like I said, we are dealing with the teaching scene, healing despair and anxiety through connection. Today on our finale, our very final, final one, I feel sad about that in some ways, is called Speak Life. So we're going to get into that in a few seconds. But let me just say, if you are liking the stuff that we're doing, subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as part of our mental health family because you know what? We are trying to break the stigma of mental health. It has to come to a point where it is no longer such a big deal to people. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand why it is so, there's such a stigma on mental health, but regardless of that, that's the point of why we're doing this. Like what we're doing, we would love that very much love that. All right, guys, so let's pray. And let's just get started on speak life. So I'm going to pray. And then I'm going to give you the scriptures that go along with this. All right. So Lord, I just want to say thank you for everybody that is going to be watching this, even the ones that are catching it, like later on, whatever, if you're watching this, uh, right at the time that we post it, that's awesome. But if not, and you catch it later, I just pray your blessing over everybody in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So again, Speak Life is the finale today of seeing healing despair and anxiety through connection. Okay. So our, our scriptures that go, well, there's only one scripture basically that goes along with it. And it comes from Proverbs 18, 21. And it says, the tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat of its fruit. Wow. I like that. Okay. Now I'm going to give you some other information that like uh, scriptures. Basically, I'm just going to remind you of some things that we have done through this teaching. So pause this video right now and go and grab a piece of paper and a pen if you don't already have that because I, I know I've spoken to a number of you that said that you like to have a pen and paper in hand so that you can write down notes as we go through things. But so now I have some notes here that I would like you guys to write down. So go ahead and pause that and go grab yourself a pen and paper and I will give you this information. All right. So the information is, uh, comes from John 1, 12, and it says, you are a child of God. So remember that. Remember that you are loved. And we say this all the time, and it comes from 1 John 4, 9. And remember, you have a purpose, and that comes from Ephesians 1, 9 and 3, 11. And then remember, you are not alone. We talk about that also all the time. And that comes from Hebrews 13, 5. And then remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. And lastly, but certainly not least. 
okay? But lastly, that we're talking about today, you are victorious. And that's from 1 John 5, 4. So hopefully you guys were able to write all that down. I think that those things are important. Okay, so again, we're talking about speak life. Okay, so we're just going to get right started into this. And uh, hopefully, if you guys have any questions along the way, put it in the comments, because we would love to answer your questions. Uh, I, I have no problem with that. And I know Mandy would have no problem with that. Of course, I always share everything with her that that we do uh, on this channel and stuff like that. And when she is ready, she is going to be coming back and she's going to be sharing something quite spectacular all the things that God has done for her over this past little while where where she's had to be on bed rest she's had this and that and the other thing happened and she got married and all of that stuff so there's a lot of things that she's going to be sharing with you guys all right so let's get started and it says speak life our words our sorry our words are powerful we can be quick to speak life and proclaim truth, but when we first meet right brain with right brain, so emotions with emotional, okay, that type of thing, it creates space for truth. Every one of us needs people in our lives speaking life into us, reminding us of what is true and encouraging us with positive words life-giving words are soul builders. Wow. Think about that. So if you are able to encourage a friend or anybody, maybe that's the only thing that you are able to do in a day. That's pretty huge. It's not only an only thing, but maybe that's what you're thinking to yourself. Well, all I could do today was you know, smile at somebody, that's still a huge encouragement. Because what if that person was desperate to just be acknowledged, to just be seen, right? We've been talking about that all along in this specific teaching. And, you know, just giving somebody a smile sometimes can be exactly what it is to give life giving words, or a life giving um, thing that you do like a smile or that type of thing that are soul builders and it builds that person up and helps them to realize that they are not alone like we said in all of those reminders you're not alone you are loved you are victorious these are mantras that a guy could continually be speaking in their lives to help them to feel better like that's that's huge guys it's huge all right so let's keep going on this. It says, going back to John chapter 11, when Jesus raises Lazarus from the grave. Now we spoke about that a number of uh, teachings ago where Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. G Jesus didn't just do a miracle. He showed up, saw those who were hurting. He listened and spoke life. So he did a lot of stuff there, a lot of things, not just the life-giving words that would ultimately make Lazarus's body awaken from death, but he spoke words of hope. Jesus always speaks words of hope and we are to model ourselves after him. So in modeling ourselves after him, we need to be able to speak hope. We need to be able to speak to others and help others and love others and help them to see that they are not alone, that they are loved, that they are victorious. That's part of our job if we're modeling ourselves after Christ. There's things like that that we need to be able to do. Not every one of us can do it all the time. And that's okay. You don't have to be continually doing it because you're still a human being. But remembering that inside that you can do that and that you should be trying to do that is huge, I think. All right, so let's keep going. Jesus said to Martha, your brother will rise again. When Jesus is in it, there is always hope. It's true. That's one of the reasons why, like I say, that we're to model ourselves after Jesus. Does that mean that we're going to be just walking around and 
speaking miracles over people's lives well kind of in a way but no not always like I said you're a human being too but modeling yourself after Jesus means that you're listening and that you're loving people and you're speaking hope to them and you're helping them to see that they are more than just that person that they are victorious to me that's pretty huge that is a big responsibility for each and every one of us. But as you continually do it, it's not as difficult. It becomes part of your nature because it is your nature. If you're trying to model yourself after Jesus and Jesus Christ lives inside of you as your Lord and Savior, then that's something that you're trying to do is you are trying to speak life, speak hope speak those things into others so that they can see Jesus in you, through you, that type of thing, right? All right, so let's carry on. It says, because of the barrage of critical and accusatory or yeah, accusatory voices that echo around us, it's important to constantly speak affirming words to those who are hurting or are in despair or experiencing anxiety. So if you are that person, you know how much better you feel if somebody is affirming you, validating you, listening to you, giving you words of life and words of encouragement, that type of thing. You know how important that is. And so in that, we, we need to be that as well. So if you have somebody that is that for you, you need to be that for them. And I believe I spoke about that in our last teaching, actually, that if you have a friend that listens to you, you need to be that friend back that is able to listen to somebody and affirm them and validate them and just be there for them, right? All right, so let's carry on. It says, our brains need to hear many more life-giving words to... Uh, counteract the negative ones due to our natural wiring, wiring, sorry, our natural wiring called negativity bias. Okay, so you can look that up if you're able to Google things or whatever, look that up because that's important. The brain is like the stomach in this way. The brain processes negative words like the stomach processes sugar. Quick and straight to our waistline. Wow, <laughs> that's an interesting way to put it. While on the other hand, fiber processes slowly and its benefits are not always immediately seen. Positive words are like that for those in despair and experiencing anxiety. It processes slowly, but they are vital to healing. So if you are the person that is the listening person and you give uh, vital words of positivity and encouragement like, wow, you are so strong. You can do this. I am so proud of you. You know, little things like that. It is. It's like fiber in our stomachs where it slowly processes out. Okay. Not like sugar. Sugar, like if we are eating sugar, it processes quickly and then you have a crash quickly. So that's why it's important for us to have validating words, words that give us encouragement, words that give us joy, that give us a little bit more, like it's something more to chew on, so to speak, if you're, if you're still in the food area of things. Anyways, this continues on. It says, um, quick and straight to our waistline, which we were talking about with the sugar, while on the other hand, fiber processes slowly and it benefits, sorry, its benefits are not always immediately seen. Positive words are like that for those in despair and experiencing anxiety. If processing slowly, sorry, it processes slowly, but they are vital to healing. Think about the words you speak to yourself and the things you speak to others. Are they filled with life and hope? Hmm. Interesting concept. Or are they filled with negativity? So again, a huge thought process there. 
what kinds of things are you that person that walks around looking like you swallowed a lemon <laughs> you just like really grouchy looking all the time and you don't speak positive things to people you're just angry if that's the type of person that you are and you don't have any friends uh this probably kind of rude maybe maybe not but understand that who would want to be a friend of somebody that is going to be negative and grouchy all the time right you need to be able to speak life be that person that is positive and happy once in a while like i understand we all understand what it's like when you're you're struggling and you're having a rough time and you're going through a rough patch in your life and so you're not very positive we understand that but that's where you need to have people in your life that are positive that can speak life into you that can validate your feelings that can do those things right and then in turn we need to be that back and i keep saying that i know i sound like kind of a broken record with regards to that but it's so important for us to have a give and take thing it's so important because in order for us to have a friend, we need to be a friend. So if you have friends that are life affirming and positive and stuff like that, then you need to be able to be positive and life affirming back to them. So that when you're having a time where you're feeling your big emotions on the right side of your brain, your emotional side, and they're listening to you, they can give you the positive life affirming things that you need to take that from your right side over to your left side like we were talking about last week right where you can have an emotional exhale so it's the same thing so these are the things that Jesus can be for us absolutely he can be that and he can change your life to the point where you actually do feel more positive I know I do I know the change in my life is huge I feel so I'm going to give you another, I'm going to read those reminders out. So if you didn't get them last time and you didn't pause it or whatever, feel free to listen to it again and write it down because I think that these are important. So I'm going to go this again. Okay, are you guys ready? So remember that you are a child of God from John 1.12. Okay, so you are, you're a child of God, meaning that you have rights to um have jesus in your life you have the rights to be able to talk to them to him and to to go further in your life you have that right because you are a child of god so you are joint heirs with jesus christ and it talks about that in ephesians chapter one if you're interested so you could check that out that you are joint heirs with him okay and that you were bought with a price that god bought you with a price and you know what that price was was christ's life his son's life he gave his son for you so that you would know so that you would be able to be joint heirs with jesus christ and that you would know that you are a child of god remember that you are loved and that comes from first john 4 9 remember that you have purpose Woo! i love that one from ephesians 1 9 and 3 11 you have purpose so not only are you joint heirs with jesus christ because you're a child of god you have a purpose there is something that god has created just for you so you need to step into that purpose how do you do that you just pray and ask god continually pray and ask god to help guide you into your purpose that is it just excites me so much, all of these things. So the last three things are on here that say, remember that you are not alone. And that's a Hebrews 13, 5. And that you are fearfully and wonderfully made from Psalm 139, 14. And that you are victorious from 1 John 5, 4. Huge, huge. All right, guys, so we're done with our finale already, if you can believe it. I, I honestly feel like I can't believe it because it's like so quickly things go by. So quickly we are in this place where it's like, wow, we've already finished another teaching. So 
it's good and bad. So hopefully you guys are learning something. So that's the good thing. The bad thing is that we're done. And I, I feel like sometimes, wow, this is so good. I'm just learning so much because I learn just as much as you guys do. I don't ever do a teaching on here that is like, well, I know everything and I don't need to learn anything because that would be a lie because I need to learn just as much as you guys do. So think about that, how incredible God is and how he loves us so much that he wants to teach us things and show us things and validate. These are little things already that he is validating our feelings. So if you have been feeling like um, sad or broken or emotional and you, and you feel like nobody's listening to you, we are listening over here. Jesus is listening to you always and he will always be there for you. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray and then we're going to be done. But before I do, I just, again, I'm reminding you guys, if you are enjoying our teachings, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as part of our family. Absolutely, we would. And so in that also, okay, now, not only do we want you guys to be part of our family and stuff like that, we want you to be able to connect like that was the whole point of all of this teaching and stuff like that was connecting through our, sorry, healing despair and anxiety through connection, connection to the heavenly father, connection to people, those types of things. So in the description box below, there are phone numbers that you can contact if you're really needing to talk to somebody. Uh, of course, you can contact us. Again, I'm just reminding you that we are neither doctors nor are we counselors. We are just basic people here. I am a pastor. I do have some basic um, counseling, but it's it's not this type of counseling per se, like in the um, whatever side of the pastoral side of things. But I still, because I deal with mental health challenges and stuff like that, I think that it's important that we stand with each other and we help each other through things. So if you want to check out the description box below, we would love to have you contact us on our socials or email, whatever works best for you. All right, guys, so let's pray and then we're going to be done this one. And next week you are going to see another quick video that will explain what we're going into because we're going to be doing a a brand new teaching. It's only three weeks long, this teaching, but it's a really good one too. So, all right. So Lord, I just want to say thank you for every person that has listened to this and stood by us all along here. We pray your blessings to be just poured out over them and help them to remember all these things that we said. Remember that they are victorious in Jesus name. Amen. Bye for now, guys. We'll see you in two weeks.